Hi, good, good afternoon. Uh, today we're going to be going over the second part of OMM review. Uh, we're going to be talking about evaluating the patient uh, head and neck section. So I'm going to go through the different steps. Uh, I want you guys to realize this is the preferential uh, uh, method that I chose and I felt like works best at least for me. So I hope this video, uh, you find this video very helpful and you can always choose your own method as long as you go over every single step that's required by the OMM review uh, sheet. Thank you. Hi, Thank you. my name is Adam Leke, and I'll be here today evaluating you. So what brought you in here today? Uh, this is sinus pain. Okay, patient has sinus pain, um, then I'm gonna evaluate the patient to see for any, any somatic dysfunctions. Uh, first, I want the patient to bend this leg down. Thank you. And I'm gonna passively flex the head of the patient. I want you to extend. Great, now I'm gonna extend. The patient does an active motion. I want you to rotate to the other side. I'm gonna passively rotate to this side also. Excellent, good job. I want you to side bend your neck to the other side. Good, to this side also. Great. So the patient has really good range of motion. And now I'm gonna check for his cervicals. So now I'm gonna palpate to see if the, the patient has any cervical dysfunction starting from about C2 to C7. Does it hurt on the right? Okay, how about the left? Okay, I'm on the right, on the left. Okay, on the right, no, on yeah. the left, good, all right. Now, I'm gonna check the patient's sinuses. We're gonna start with the frontal sinus. So I'm gonna palpate and press down. How, does that hurt? Yeah. Okay, good. How about this? So I'm palpating on the, on the maxillary sinus right now. Now I'm gonna feel for the patient's lymph nodes to see if we any swollen lymph nodes or lymph nodopathy. Start for posterior auricular lymph nodes, light palpation to deep palpation, then anterior lymph nodes, the anterior, uh, the pre-auricular lymph nodes, then I'm gonna go submaxillary to feel for any light to deep. See, um, then, then I'm gonna go submental feel for any uh, lymph nodes also. Then we're gonna take a look at the sternocleidomastoid muscle, and we're gonna go posterior to it, that's where your posterior um, lymph nodes, uh, posterior uh, lymph, uh, cervical lymph nodes are gonna be. So light palpation to deep, to see if there's anything swelling. Also on the other side, bilaterally. Now I'm gonna pop in the anterior lymph nodes also, to see if he has any swollen lymph nodes, and I'm gonna pop it a supraclavicular lymph nodes. All right, great. Now I'm gonna continue my physical exam by examining the patient's ear. And now, um, turn this on. Great. Now I'll pull the the, the patient's uh, pinner superiorly and posteriorly to straighten the external auditory meatus, and place the otoscope right in there, and look. Right in there, good. This patient's great. Same thing here. Straight in there. Good. This patient is doing great. Um, now we're gonna check check the nasal sinus itself. So I want you to lift the nose up. Good. All clear. Open your mouth wide. Say ah, good. The patient doesn't, you can basically look at the anterior and posterior pillars. You can see the uvular, check for the tonsils, see if they're swollen or not. I check for the pharyngeal tonsils also to see any swollen lymph nodes. Um, so we've basically run through a, a quick head and neck uh, for the patient. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and check this um, thoracic. So I want you to put your arms forward and I want you to bend forward. So the patient's actively bending forward, and I'm gonna passively bend the patient. I want you to extend your hand backwards. Now I'm gonna extend passively. I want you to rotate to that side for me, please. Thank you. And to this side. Thank you. So I want you to side bend. Great. And to the other side. Excellent. Now I'm gonna check the patient's um, cervical, of the thoracic vertebrae. So can you please? Thank you. So I'm gonna start by palpating 
Does it hurt in the right or the left? All right. Good. All right. Um, the right or the left? Does it hurt? Right. Okay. Does it hurt? It's the right. Okay. Patients have a lot of somatic dysfunction on the right. That's on the left? Okay. So I'm going one vertebrae to another, checking for any somatic dysfunction in the back. All right, good. Now that I've checked that, um, I want to face forward. Now, um, I have to, now we're going to go over and move down since I've checked this thoracic. Uh, K, uh, thoracic, uh, th thoracic vertebrae, I'm now going to listen to his heart and his lungs. So I'm just going to listen to your heart, um, uh, Mr. Taha, and um, this should be nice and easy. Okay? It's not going to hurt? No, it's not going to hurt. So I'm going to place my stethoscope in the second intercostal space, which is between the second and the third rib, and I'm going to be listening to the S2 sounds. Now I'm going to place also on the other side, and now I'm going to be listening to the pulmonary uh, sounds for, for S2. Good. Now I'm going to listen to the tricuspids, which are mid sternal, and I'm now going to listen to his mitral, which is on the fourth intercostal, right mid, uh, mid clavicular. Great. Seems like his heart is clear. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna listen to his. Um, can you rope, uh, move to this so I can listen to your heart lungs? Uh, for, so I'm not gonna listen to his lungs. Now, what I'm actually listening to is something called the triangle auscultation. This is the patient's medial border of the scapular, and what actually happens is like a triangle. And what you notice is the the inferior angle of the scapular. And you have the medial border of the scapular. The latissimus dorsi is going to be the base of the uh, uh, triangular auscultation. And his trapezius, which is coming basically out uh, medially, right around here down to the center. Remember, we went over um, the origin insertions of the trapezius muscle. So basically, that's where exactly you can listen to long sound. So I'm going to listen to that. And I'm also going to place it right under his ribs also to listen because when the patient inspires, the lungs goes from T8 to T10, and basically because of the expansion of the lungs. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to listen bilaterally in here for any wheezing, any uh, reels, any uh, sounds, uh, and um, we'll check in a minute. So take a deep breath. Do that. Take a deep breath. And out. Breathe in. Clear. Breathe in. And out. So the patient's lungs are clear, and uh, we're going to move on to the uh, other side of the examination. I'm going to check for his ribs. Um, can you breathe in for me? So I'm checking for rib one. And breathe in again. Now I'm checking for ribs two. Uh, I want you to lay on your back for me, uh, Mr. Taha, in this way. And um, just give me one second. All right. So now I'm going to be checking for the patient's rib function and just to check for the upper ribs. Rib three. Break, take a deep breath in for me. And out. Great. Excellent. Now I'm going to check for his clavicles. So I'm going to pop it his clavicles. And now I'm going to place my hand over to stabilize the clavicle. And I'm going to internally rotate and externally rotate the clavicle just to check for range of motion of the patient. There you go. All right. The patient has good range of motion. And now I'm going to place my hand on the sternum. And basically I'm placing my hand on the uh, manubrium of the, uh, of the sternum and checking for any like slight movement. So I'm going to try to extend and 
uh, flex the the, the sternum, a little side bending to the side. Good. We're gonna just quickly check for AV duction of the clavicle and AD duction. Extension and flexion. And that's it. I'm done. You can stand up. And um, we follow up with treatment. Okay. And um, I'm gonna call the nurse so they can take care of you. Thank All right? You. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome.